I've already, I've already shuffled. I will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Tower card, and it's with the Knight of Pentacles. So, straight off the bat, Cancer, this is telling me that the connection was, it was going good for a while with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles can be about a slow, stable, steady, a very practical type of energy, this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it can be, like I said, about, um, it can be good. Nothing is really bad about the Knight of Pentacles, unless you, you're just not used to something that's stable and steady. Uh, yeah, because some people like a little crazy, but you don't get that with the Knight of Pentacles. But what happened was, you became shocked by something. You could have found out something about your person or something happened and it just threw you way off balance. Way off balance with the tower card here. It threw the connection way off balance. Yeah, some of you found out something and you became shook. You were shocked. Thrown off. Because things were going steady for a while, just stable, and then BAM. So let's move on over, let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Ten of Pentacles, and it's with the Eight of Cups. Well, this Eight of Cups can be about walking away, moving on, it can be about abandoning something so for a lot of you cancers you're walking away you're realizing that this is not going to be your end all be all ten of pentacles the card that's above the word present that's everything happy wife happy life happy kids happy pets happy dog happy cat whatever it is you got Happy parents, happy siblings. Things are just going good overall. Everything. Money is good when you get the Ten of Pentacles. Really good. Everything is just good. You realize you, you thought you would have this with your person, but you could be realizing... You could be realizing that this is not the one. Yeah, you, you could still be shocked or shooken up or shaken up by whatever happened or whatever you found out. And you're ready to walk away. Eight of Cups, the card below the word present. This one moves on. Abandonment is the Eight of Cups. So... Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Queen of Cups and it's with the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Cups, the card that's above the word challenge, it's actually a really good energy in the tarot. The Queen of Cups. Just know whenever you see the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups in a reading, it's all about love. Yeah, with the Queen or the King of Cups, there's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what the situation is. The Queen of Cups is the type that's healing, supportive, and has a lot of love, can be very compassionate and kind. And what I'm getting, Gemini, I'm not Gemini, I just finished Gemini, so... This is a Cancer reading. I hope I haven't been saying Gemini. So what I'm getting Cancer 
is that for some of you, with this Queen of Cups here, you could be dealing with your same sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. And this person, they actually want to heal this. They want to fix whatever happened. Or they want to make things right, because the Queen of Cups is a healing type of energy. Supportive, so they want to heal this connection. This person has a lot of love for you. But it's with the page of Pentacles, the card that's below the word challenge. For a lot of you Cancers, you're over this. Because the Page of Pentacles can be about boredom in some ways. So you could be feeling like you're just, you're over it. You feel like the connection is losing its luster. And for some of you, you, f you feel like the way this person handled whatever you became shocked about or sh shaken up about. You could start to feel like... Um, the way they handled things was childish. Because whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student, it can indicate you, immaturity, or someone that's younger than you. So maybe a person is a lot younger than you, and the way things fell apart, or how, whatever you found out, you felt that your person was immature about it. Or very childish and for some of you cancers you're dealing with a child and you just you're over it or you're just wanting to be over it yeah you you're bored with the whole thing but they could be reaching out to you with a lot of love they want to fix this they want to heal the connection so let's move on over let's take a look and see what the outcome is we got temperance and we got the Hermit. So Temperance, the card above the word outcome, that's about balance. So for a lot of you, you could be realizing that you need to bring balance back into your life. For some of you, because you've got someone that's wanting to heal this, um, you could be trying to figure out how are we going to heal this. How are we going to bring balance back into this connection? Now, with the Hermit card, the card that's below the word outcome, it's about spending time alone, meditating, contemplating. So what I'm getting, Cancer, is that the both of you could be coming up, the both of you could be spending time alone, trying to figure out where, where do we go from here? Because your person is not ready for you to walk away. For some of you, your person is is alone because you've walked away with the Eight of Cups here. And they're trying to figure out how to bring balance back into this connection. Because things were really thrown off. Yeah. Thrown off with this Tower card. Things came falling apart. You you were shocked by something that happened. Something they said or something they did. Something really shook this connection up. And your person, they're trying to figure out how to bring the balance back. This person has a lot of love for you. So that's the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. 
during this crazy virus season. So hang in there. Take good care. Be strong. I hope that you guys come back and join me for the next cancer reading, just in case this one did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also, don't forget, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.